Good morning, folks. We've got looks at the sun and space weather, a record cyclone, some Nova science, and a bit on the South Atlantic anomaly as well. We'll start with our star, and despite the number of sunspots we have on the disk, we have had a lesser outburst period the last day. Only tiny M-class flares, no bigger eruptions, and currently there are no coronal holes facing Earth. The solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are calming back, and we're seeing the ionosphere and atmosphere finally quiet after the solar storm conditions last week. As we zoom in here on the southern filaments, which have also thankfully remained stable, let's recall the intimate connection between solar flares, solar storms, and the tropical activity here on Earth. We've gone over it many times, and we just had Cyclone Freddy, seen here pounding Madagascar for the second time in a week after pulling a very unusual loop pattern, and it's just smashed the record for the longest traveling cyclone in recorded history. It's also the only known cyclone to have four separate rapid intensifications, and each one right after a flare event or the magnetic storms here on Earth. Deadly event in the South Indian Ocean. We're off to the Nova, where once again the activity of stellar blasts is reaching into levels that require a rewrite of Nova astronomy. In this case, they're trying to figure out what is causing the odd recurrent blasts about every 200 days. But the better Nova story is this one, hitting a topic you've heard here many times, which is that most Nova, especially the micro-Nova, are not easily visible from Earth despite our enhanced technology over the last few decades. Here, they suggest that only a fraction of them have the accretion to be blasting big enough to be seen, furthering our concept that most of the Nova have not yet been discovered. Lastly, folks, we've beaten the dead horse of the rapid acceleration of the magnetic pole movement and the acceleration of the weakening of the overall magnetic field. And now geologic data suggest the evolution of the South Atlantic anomaly has followed a similar pattern. Not only has it expanded and deepened in recent decades, but its center of mass has taken a similar accelerated movement from southern Africa to nearer the South American territory, once again, hinting at its connection to the pole movement rather than processes at the core mantle boundary. Many people are asking the same question about the new Rumble channel, so let me quickly say that it's for things I can't say here on YouTube. I would prefer not to lose this forum, and so those topics will be addressed there instead of here. Simple as that. Don't forget to grab tickets to Buffalo or San Diego. Tour begins in two weeks, and we're excited to see you out there. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.